I took my British Ghanaian, Polish Nigerian daughter to Krakow, Poland. But let me start with a little backstory. My friend picked us up from the airport despite terrible weather and my asking at a very short notice. <laughs> <laughs> My good friend. <laughs> this is another friend with whom I met when I was in Poland two weeks ago. We went to the forest, ate acacia trees and had so much fun. I've known both people pretty much since the day I was born. Later in this vlog, I'll let you know why I'm sharing this with you. But let's head to Krakow for now. At the Airbnb, I realized that I had forgotten my hairbrush. Getting a hairbrush suitable for the mixed race type of hair in Poland is not easy. So there was no hairbrushing that day, just improvisation. Oh, and did I mention that I put shampoo in my hair, thinking it was gel? Dear Airbnb person, why is your shampoo labeled as a gel? Why? Ah, the beauty of travel. On this note, do you remember my short video about traveling light? This is how you travel light. Backpack and documents and yourself. So I'm riding a bike in this skirt. It's a skirt because I have nothing else. It's not a good idea. But we are making it happen. Well, sometimes you need more than a backpack. Yeah, because you're not supposed to ride on the sidewalk in Poland. So initially, the plan was to cycle around Krakow. We had only a few hours before it was going to get dark. But the Airbnb bikes turned out to have flat tires. And we had to bring them right back. So much for the cycling. Right, so we decided to get e-scooters instead. I think riding an e-scooter is against the law in London, but in Krakow and other Polish cities you can ride all you want. While I'm testing the speed of my scooter, let's go back to my backstory. Poland is where I was born and grew up. Hence, I want my daughter to feel free when she's here. But there is a common misconception that you shouldn't travel to Eastern Europe if you are black or brown. Taking my London-born daughter to Krakow is more than just taking a trip. I want her to know my Poland, which is one of her many home countries, where she'll meet many good souls. This cafe, called Café Lisboa, drew my attention because the queue was super long. I still wonder why. But we had no time to make inquiries. The night was approaching. We stopped for a moment to admire this cool graffiti or wall art. And then to listen to a street musician in Krakow's old town. This is where we stayed with Grandma. Florianska, this is the street. We rode through Plante, also known as the lungs of the city. This vlog was recorded two months ago, so by now these lungs are probably a lot greener. We sat down for a moment to admire the beautiful horses and the famous St. Mary's Basilica at the main market square. The two of many staples of Krakow's old town. Huh? We also found a little diversity injected into the city through photography. This is so cool. 
Then, it started getting dark. So it is night now, we are only left with one scooter because Lime failed, miserably. And my phone is about to die. We are trying to get home. And then, our remaining scooter so timed out. Oh, did I unlock it? Wait, maybe I can unlock it. No, it won't let me. It's dead. <laughs> it's dead. Oh my god, so we are in Plante somewhere with one dead scooter. I had barely managed to order Uber before my phone died. And that was the end of a short but eventful e-scooter ride around Krakow. I hope my child will keep it in her heart, on the shelf where other good memories rest. I want my kids to be explorers, unafraid of people and places.